Ahoy, mateys, grab your ghost hunting gear because we're diving deep into the haunted history of the Titanic. Now, we all know the tale of the grand ship that was meant to be unsinkable. But did you know that this vessel's story didn't end at the bottom of the North Atlantic? Oh, no. Um, it's said to have left behind more than just a sunken wreck. We're talking about a legacy that's as ghostly as it is grand. From spectral sightings to eerie encounters, the Titanic seems to have a knack for keeping its memory alive in the most supernatural of ways. But don't worry, we won't be keeping things too serious. After all, who says ghost stories can't be a bit of fun? So fasten your seatbelts, or should we say, hold on to your life vest, this is going to be a chilling ride. As the pages of history turn back to a time of grandeur, we travel to the heart of a story about the fancy, unsinkable boat that ironically met its destiny at the watery depths. Spoiler alert, it's sunk, and thus our tale unfolds. We delve into a grand spectacle of human ingenuity and ambition personified by the Titanic. Billed as the unsinkable ship, it embodied the pinnacle of engineering marvel and stood as a tribute to the technological prowess of the early 20th century. Join us now as we journey to the bustling shipyards of Belfast, Ireland, the womb from where the Titanic was birthed. The brainchild of the White Star Line it emerged under the hands of thousands of toiling workers over two painstaking years. Transitioning from the canvas of imagination to reality, the Titanic was a floating palace, a titan among mere vessels. Allow your imagination to capture the spectacle of the Titanic on its launch day. Picture a ship of such magnitude and grandeur that it could make even the most seasoned seafarer's jaw drop. Four funnels adorned its structure, although here's an interesting tidbit for you, only three of them were functional. The fourth was added purely for aesthetic reasons, truly a touch of grandiosity. Beyond the deck, step inside the Titanic, a mirror of the opulent Edwardian society. Its first-class suites were the epitome of luxury. Visualize four poster beds, plush carpets and private promenades. There were even heated swimming pools, a gymnasium and a squash court. Yes, a squash court aboard a ship. But behind the sparkle and champagne, the ship was also a poignant reflection of the social divides of the era. While the ultra-rich reveled in their luxurious cabins, the third-class passengers were confined to modest quarters. Hopes of crossing paths with the elites on the grand staircase were merely illusions. As the Titanic set sail on her maiden voyage from Southampton to New York City on April 10th, 1912, she carried 2,227 souls on board, oblivious to the tragic fate that awaited them. But as the journey unfurled, the Titanic's maiden voyage was soon to encounter a minor snag. The Titanic met a cold-hearted frenemy in the form of an iceberg. Talk about a frosty reception. Picture this. A ship sailing smoothly under the starlit sky, its passengers blissfully unaware of the impending disaster. The Grand Titanic, a symbol of human achievement, was making its maiden voyage from England to America. On the night of April 14, 1912, the Titanic was cruising at a speed that was perhaps a little too brisk for an icy ocean. The mood on board was festive, after all they were on the unsinkable ship, but as fate would have it, the Titanic's path crossed with a monstrous iceberg. The collision was not dramatic, no explosion, no massive shudder. In fact, some passengers barely noticed the impact. But it was a fatal wound to the mighty vessel. The iceberg had punctured the ship's hull and the cold sea began to seep in. What followed was a series of unfortunate events. Lifeboats were launched, but not all were filled to capacity. There were not enough lifeboats for everyone on board, a fact that would lead to unimaginable loss. As the ship sank deeper into the freezing abyss, desperate cries for help echoed across the icy sea. Within mere hours, the Titanic, a marvel of human ingenuity, lay at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Over 1,500 lives were lost in the tragedy, a catastrophe that sent shockwaves around the world. But here's where things get spooky. They say that not all of those souls found their way to the other side. In the icy depths, amid the wreckage of what was once a grand vessel, some spirits lingered. And just like that, the Titanic was lost to the waves. But was it really the end? Some would argue that it was just the beginning of a ghostly tale. A tale full of chilling apparitions, eerie whispers and phantom presences. But we'll save those spectral stories for the next scene where we dive into the haunting tales of the Titanic. After the ship sank, passengers left behind some extra baggage. Ghost stories galore. 
and what a collection of spectral tales it is. From phantom figures on lifeboats to eerie echoes in the ocean depths, the Titanic's ghostly legacy continues to send shivers down our spines. One such tale is of a ghostly orchestra still playing their haunting melodies in the icy waters. It's said that the band played on even as the ship was sinking to calm the passengers. Now, some claim to hear the faint strains of their music on quiet nights at sea. A spectral symphony, an otherworldly encore, if you will. Then there's the story of the ghostly captain, Edward Smith, who is said to have been sighted in the captain's cabin of the Titanic sister ship, the RMS Olympic. It seems he wasn't quite ready to abandon ship even in the afterlife. You might have heard the tale of young Jack Thayer, a 17-year-old survivor who reportedly saw and sketched a ghostly apparition of the ship sinking hours before the tragic event. A premonition or a visit from a future ghost, you be the judge. And then there are the ghastly whispers. Some divers who visited the wreck report hearing hushed voices and soft laments. Could it be the ghostly remnants of the passengers' final moments forever echoing in the deep? Finally, we cannot forget the story of the Lady in Black, it's said that a woman dressed in black can be seen at the Halifax Cemetery where many Titanic victims were laid to rest. She walks among the graves, pausing to lay a single rose on the Titanic victims' headstones before disappearing into the night. A ghostly mourner, perhaps, or a spectral survivor paying her respects. So, are these ghostly tales true or just the product of overactive imaginations? You decide. But remember, when it comes to the Titanic, the line between fact and fiction is as elusive as a ghost in the night. From museums to memorials, the Titanic is everywhere, especially if you believe the ghosts are making guest appearances. The Titanic's legacy remains prevalent in today's world. It's much more than just a tale of an ill-fated voyage. It's a story that continues to resonate. A story that has been immortalized in countless books, films and songs. But perhaps the most tangible reminders of the Titanic's existence are the memorials and artifacts that have been recovered from the ocean floor. Across the globe there are numerous memorials dedicated to the Titanic. These monuments stand as silent reminders of the lives lost and the lessons learned. They are places of solemn reflection, but some say they're also hot spots for ghostly activity. Reports of phantom figures and eerie whispers are not uncommon. Some visitors even claim to have felt an icy chill, despite being nowhere near the water. Then there are the artifacts. Thousands of items have been retrieved from the wreckage site, each one a poignant reminder of the people who once lived and breathed aboard the Titanic. There are personal items such as jewellery and clothing, as well as parts of the ship itself. These artifacts are now housed in museums around the world, attracting millions of visitors each year. But it's not just the historical significance that draws crowds. There's an intriguing theory that objects can retain the energy of their previous owners, especially if the owners experienced strong emotions or met a tragic end. This theory, known as psychometry, might explain why some people report feeling a strange energy or experiencing unexplained phenomena when they were near Titanic artifacts. Could it be that these objects are haunted by the spirits of their former owners, or is it simply our minds playing tricks on us? Whatever the case, the Titanic continues to captivate us. Its story is a haunting blend of history and mystery, reality and myth. And as long as our fascination endures, so too will the tales of ghosts and haunted artifacts. So next time you visit a Titanic exhibit, keep an eye out for any spectral stowaways. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, one thing's for sure. The Titanic story is as deep as the ocean itself. Now, we've taken quite the journey today, haven't we? From the grand beginnings of the unsinkable ship to its chilling encounter with an icy nemesis and the tragic voyage that followed, we've laughed at the ghostly tales that surfaced from the depths, adding an eerie charm to the Titanic's tale. And we've pondered over the haunted artifacts and the memorials that stand today, a reminder of the ship's legendary voyage. We've even indulged in a bit of ghostly speculation because who doesn't love a good supernatural mystery? In the end, it's up to you to decide. Is the Titanic haunted by the spirits of those who sailed on it, or is it just a vessel sailing on a sea of spooky legends? So, do you think the Titanic is haunted, or is it just floating on a sea of spooky legends? Let us know in the comments.